Hunter Call of the Wild. And today, we're going to be experiencing the Waterfowl rework and trying it out. If you guys didn't know, in the most recent update, approximately a week ago, there was a complete game rework, and that was specifically focused on the Waterfowl, because Waterfowl was a very glitchy thing, and Call of the Wild was never really based on Waterfowl. And if another thing, if you guys didn't know, if you come to your map, and you select Tuggo Reserve Legend, you notice that there is a new map, and that's called Revan Tuli Coast, that's kind of based on Waterfowl, even though there's six other large game species. But I do love Waterfowl, I'm not going to lie, but I never really have. And today we're going to be experiencing it, seeing if it's any different, and we're going to be trying it out. I did just get Reventuli Coast a few days ago, and yeah. So before we get into today's video, guys, I do want to ask of you one thing. If you can go down below, smash the like button, and subscribe, it would help me out so freaking much. Thank you guys, have an amazing day. So, as you guys know, most of the maps, when they come out, they come with a free gun. But this map came with a free little thing that you sit in as you're in the water. And if you look at it, you can press blah, 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 press triangle, dismantle it, and it works just like a tree stand or anything. But since this map is based more on waterfowl, you can place your little floaty thingy. And then once you get into it you can get out your decoys, which this map comes with a straight up insane amount of decoys. Oops, wrong one. Insane amount of decoys. We're going to be hunting for Grey Lag Goose today. So you get out your decoy. I chose Grey Lag Goose. You can start placing them wherever you want. I'm going to place out all 10. So, all right, we got them all out. They are a bit tricky and they don't really matter how far apart you place them. So I just kind of place them in a line right around me. And then you can get out your gray light goose collar if you're hunting for gray light goose. It came with a collar for 75% of the birds in the game. So I'm just going to start throwing out calls. Until one flies in. Alright guys, and right away, I'd be willing to bet money that those are gray light goose up there. Let's take a look. They are really hard to see through the binoculars because of the way they fly and they're so high up. But they are coming down, so they... Yeah, those are gray light goose. They are coming down, so you can just continue. I always press down, thinking that it's the weapon wheel. Yeah, they are replying. That is a lot of goose. That is a lot of goose. And eventually, if you just give them a minute, they'll eventually land, and then that's when you take your shot. But they are being kind of stubborn right now, and it's guaranteed... Oh, they're eating right now, so that does mean that they're coming down. They just like to circle, and then they get lower and lower every single time they circle, and then they'll eventually come down. All right, guys, we're going to take a shot on one of these gray light goose. Not sure which one, but I guess we'll take this. Oh crap, they're running away. Sorry about this. Okay, we got that one. And they kind of just float right back to you, so. Got that one. And we can set this to 164 yards and maybe pop another one. Not so sure. Sorry if you hear my controller clicking. It's, it's really hard to hunt waterfowl when they're in the air. Let's just see if we can get a shot on one. Mm, we just confirmed a trophy. Okay. 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 Very nice. The biggest one I've ever seen. Totally. And yeah, that's it. Grab this trophy. And the trophies automatically float to you. Just in case you didn't know. And yeah, that's Grey Light Goose. We'll go try out a few different species. Okay, I just left my little uh, water floater blind thing there. I know, I know the name for them. It's been right at the tip of my tongue this entire video, but... I'm not sure. So, surprisingly, you don't even have to move spots to be able to uh, shoot waterfowl. As you can see, the dock is down there. That's right where my little boat thing is. And all I have on me right now is I'm, I do this every time, is I'm set up for uh, gray light goose. So I have the gray light goose call and the gray light goose decoy. So you literally just need to switch these out with the one you want to shoot. So let's try... Um, 
Beacon Deluxe Bean Goose Collar. Man, the names are weird. Uh, we'll come all the way down here and find the Bean Beacon, whatever the heck the name of that thing was. There's a Mallard Decoy. I mean, we could have tried that, but I think it's Bean Goose Decoy, maybe? I think that's what it is. We'll do that, and we can come up here and make sure that it's Bean or whatever. So once you have them put into your inventory, you just go to Lures, come here, and then you can see they're here. You can just put them wherever you want them. I'm just going to put them right where the other ones were. And then you go out to your blind. So now once you have your decoys set up, you can just chill and wait for the birds to fly. And I'll be willing to bet money that that's them right there. Take that back, that's them. Most likely. If I can spot them. Yep, tufted duck. So what the game does is once you place down the decoys, it'll automatically just spawn you in some geese or whatever. Like there's no respawns or drink zones unless you're shooting like caper cali or something that's large. With waterfowl, um, you can just sit down in your blind and they'll automatically fly in. I literally just saw like five off camera. So I hope you guys do enjoy waterfowl and uh... I really like it so far, and I never used to be into Waterfall, but since the rework, everything looks better, and I'm incredibly happy for this. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.